Hmm. I just Go up to Laredo's residence in the evening. Forgot how you tell what time it is now. Obviously I know there's a sunny corner but I don't really tell what whether it's even or not. See if I can just go now. Watch it. Lorita wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. Obviously not yet. with those swords. Well, we definitely need a steel sword, so... I go enough money. Can I sell? I just don't know if I'm not wearing any of them items that I've just sold. to do shit a sheep <laughs> we should for send one. for Laredo That was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Blood got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby, and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. 
we'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. I think I've heard enough about politics. Full test killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Full test began treating me as his lucky charm. Didn't do a right good job. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Full test greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorva the Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. I want to know how the other witcher got hold of the king's head. As soon as he just slit his throat and jumped out window. Yeah, in cut scene where you have a he had his head on a stool. Interesting. But you still can't deny what a good story which your series is uh, is. What sort of sorceress are you? Where's this beast? Ask her! Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here! Birds of a feather! Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish! The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel! All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. 
You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humour seems to be intact. Definitely where I come from. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. You free? No. Working my arse off. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. The words of Angry Joe. Ah, Fuck you. Uh, give me money. One. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. A contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. You want an advance? I've but a handful of orans now, though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of ploughing. Rara I was of the potions we'll need. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That ploughing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. <laughs> you might want to stir it. I don't stir. He didn't give me a great deal. People! The mutant's pursuing me! Careful with those. Sure on that. Let's leave it for now. Kill something. Boss, why the hell are we stacking and restacking this? Sure, a cave. Ah, right here. Yep.
remember dying on this bit millions of times first time I played through it. Let's see what happens this time. Come on! Where got the same? I think we'll leave that one for now. Why the hell are we stacking? Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Something's troubling me. Let's see. I wonder if it's even yet. Don't seem like it, but the reader wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. After dusk, is it? I will just do that one anyway. Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like Fistech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? 
I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. Why is this incense so popular all of a sudden? Don't tell me it's the scent. But it is. It took me a long time to devise it and the ingredients cost me a fortune. That's why it's so good. You've lived with these people since childhood. Why would you want to poison them? You're right, Witcher. Before you close up, why don't you give me the formula for that incense? I see you've done it! Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your award. And then she says, Oh, look, yeah. That's what we call things again. Well enough! Yeah, why the bloody hell not? Oh, oh, oh. Same one not.